This is Crew AI, an awesome alternative to Autogen that allows you to set up entire agent teams to execute tasks automatically. It is completely open source and you can power it using Olama and local models. And it also has native support for Langchain, so you get a ton of functionality right out of the box. So I'm gonna show you how to install it, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, and we're gonna play around with it. Let's go. Crew AI was released not too long ago. It already has 1300 stars, a bunch of forks, more people contributing to it, and the rate at which the author is adding functionality is tremendous. So this is the GitHub page. It's called crew.ai. It's super easy to install. I'll show you how in a moment. Here's some example code that we can do to set everything up. I'll walk you through that. And some of the key features, role-based agent design. So customize agents with specific roles, goals, and tools. Autonomous inter-agent delegation, which is what we talked about at the beginning. Agents can autonomously delegate tasks and inquire amongst themselves, enhancing problem solving efficiency. It has flexible task management and it is process driven. It only supports sequential task execution, but more complex processes like consensual and hierarchical being worked on. And this is going to be an intro tutorial. We're just going to get it set up and working with both GPT-4 and a local model. And then I'm going to create a follow-up video showing you how to do more of the complex stuff, like creating your own tools, using Langchain tools, caching, and complex delegation. This video is brought to you by Monster API, the best place to integrate the latest AI models at a fraction of the cost. While it typically costs around $180 to generate 5,000 images using SDXL, you could do so for only $39 with Monster API. Check it out at monsterapi.ai. So I opened up my VS code. I have a new file that I just created called crewexample.py. I'm going to click this button in the top right to toggle panel, and that'll open up my terminal within VS code. Down in the bottom, right, I've selected Python version 3.11.6, and I'm going to try it without even creating an environment with Conda. So let's get started. So the first step is to install Crew AI. Pip install Crew AI, and then just hit enter. Okay, it looks like that was successful. Great. Next, we're going to import everything we need from the Crew AI library. So from Crew AI, we're going to import agent, task, crew, and process. And all of these things will make sense as we go through the code. And to start, I'm going to show you how to do this using GPT-4 but then I'm going to show you how to power it using Olama and a local model. Next, we're going to import OS, which will allow us to set our API key securely. And here, what we're going to do is actually set the API key. So os.environ and then OpenAI API key in quotes. And then we're going to go grab our API key now. So on the OpenAI API keys page, if you don't already have an OpenAI account and a developer account, go ahead and sign up. We're going to click create secret key right there. I'm going to call it crew AI, hit enter. And I'm going to copy that right there. And I am going to revoke this key before I publish the video. So right here where it says your key, we're going to replace that with our actual key and then save. Now, the first thing we need to do is start defining the agents. And it's so easy. Let me show you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a team of agents to go out, do research on the latest AI trends, and then write a blog post about it. So first, let's create a researcher. So researcher equals, and then capitalize agent. And this just references this part of the library right there. First, we're going to assign it a role, which is really just like a name. So role equals researcher. Then we're going to give it a goal. And for the goal, we're going to say research new AI insights. Next, we're going to give it a backstory, which is basically just a system message, but it's a better way to describe it. You are an AI research assistant. Next, we're gonna set verbose is equal to true, and that'll just give us more information as the agent is running, and allow delegation. And this is where you start to see the difference between crew AI and autogen. There's no real way to control delegation in autogen, at least, the last time I checked, but now we can, and we don't want the research assistant to delegate any of the work. So we're going to say false. And the last thing we could do is input an LLM, but by default, it's going to use chat GPT. So for now, I'm going to remove that because we don't need it. Then I'm just going to save. So now we have our researcher and actually I forgot to include the ER there. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and save. So now for our blog post, we actually need an agent to do the writing. So let's create a writer agent. And then we're going to need the same things. Role equals writer. Goal equals 
Write compelling and engaging blog posts about AI trends and insights. Backstory, you are an AI blog post writer who specializes in writing about AI topics. Verbose will also keep that as true. I wanna see everything going on. And allow delegation, we're gonna also say false because I don't want the writer to delegate any work. And that's it, we have a researcher and a writer and that should be good. Now let's create our tasks. And we're gonna create two tasks, task one and task two. For task one, we assign it using capitalized task and that creates the task based on crew AI's definition. And first we write a description. So description equals investigate the latest AI trends. And for that task, we can assign an agent. So we say agent equals researcher. Now. It's already easier than Autogen in this way. For each task, we can actually define which agent should be accomplishing that task. Where for Autogen, what I've noticed is it's really hard to assign agents to specific tasks. So this is great. For task two, of course, we're gonna want it to actually write a blog post. So write a compelling blog post based on the latest AI trends. And then we're gonna assign the agent to be the writer. And I actually have to end the quote right there. And there we go. So we have task one, investigate the latest AI trends. Task two, write a compelling blog post based on the latest AI trends. All right, now we actually have to instantiate the crew. And again, this is gonna be a little bit different than you're used to with Autogen. So let's create the crew and we're gonna use capitalized crew as the instantiation for it. We're going to put our agents into the crew as an array. So we're going to say researcher comma writer. We're going to give it our tasks, task one and task two. Verbose equals, and we can either set it to one or two, depending on how verbose we want it. So I'm going to want it as a two. And then we can set the process and currently the only process is sequential but they're adding other processes later so process.sequential and basically all that means is it's going to execute task one and then execute task two and that should be it for the crew definition and that's it really the next thing we have to do is just kick off the process so we do results is equal to crew dot kick off and I'm going to click save and let's try it out let's see what happens so I'm going to click play in the top right and there we go Working agent, researcher, starting task, investigate the latest AI trends. So thought, action, action input. And so since I didn't provide it with any tools, it doesn't know which tools to use. And it's gonna attempt to complete it without using any tools. And so basically it's just using GPT-4 prompting to actually get these topics. So here it is, final answer, AI in healthcare, AI in cybersecurity, et cetera, et cetera. Then it passes all that information to the writer and now the writer is writing a blog post. And so what I really like about Crew AI is how easy it is to chain these tasks together and to assign different agents to different tasks and let them delegate to each other when necessary. And here it is, the whole blog. So we have a blog post, perfect. And finish chain, so now it's done and it exits out. So that was really simple, I know, but the more sophisticated use cases are gonna come in my follow-up video. And let me know the use cases you wanna see in that follow-up video. I think I'm gonna to put together a stock analysis crew and maybe even a trip planner crew. And they're gonna be using Langchain tools, they're gonna to be using custom tools. I'm super excited to show you that. But the last thing I wanna show you today is how to use a local model. So you don't need to use GPT-4. And that is very easy. Now, I already showed you in a previous video how to use Olama. So I'll drop a link to that video in the description below if you don't already know how. But assuming you do, the first thing we're going to do is download Open Hermes, which seems to be the best model to use with Crew. So Olama run Open Hermes, hit enter, and now it should download the model. All right, there we go. It is up and running. And remember, with Olama, you can have multiple models running at the same exact time. And especially because Crew AI works sequentially through tasks, you can assign different models to different agents and run it all at the same time with basic consumer hardware. Okay, now what we need to do is actually tell the different agents which models to use. And so we're gonna define a new model at the top here, and I'm gonna say Olama underscore open Hermes equals, and then Olama and then open parens, and then we're gonna say model equals equals agent. And we also need to import Olama. So let's remember to do that. So at the top, I'm just gonna say from langchain.llms import Olama. And that should be everything we need. So we import Olama from Langchain, then we create a new Olama model called agent. 
it is going to be open Hermes. And we come down here and for the agent, we're gonna say LLM equals, and then Olama open Hermes. And then for the writer, we're gonna do the same thing. Come down here, LLM equals, boom. Then we're gonna hit save and we're gonna run this again. Now it should be running this completely locally now. So top right, hit play and let's see it run. Okay, so I got one thing wrong. Rather than model equals agent, of course it's model equals open Hermes. Okay, now that we assigned an LLM to each of the agents, we're gonna go ahead and click play. And there it is. Now we're using our completely local open Hermes model powered by Olama. And there we go, it's done. So now we're running it completely locally. Obviously when you're using local models, you need to play around with all of the settings to make sure you're getting the most out of them. It's not as plug and play as a GPT-4 would be, but it is working and it's showing that there. So again, in our next video, I'm gonna be showing you more sophisticated use cases. We're gonna create our own tools. We're gonna to be using LangChain tools. We're gonna to do complex delegation. I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see as part of the follow-up video to Crew AI. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.